good morning students how are you all hope you all are doing good okay students so shall we start learning commerce the last two chapters 24 and 25 26 27 and 28 i will teach you after the upper level exam so up to 25 only i have taken questions also okay so this 24 uh, chapter it's explaining the types of entrepreneurs only okay only the classification of entrepreneurs here we have already in the previous chapter we have studied the functions isn't it then their importance significance then opportunities given to the women entrepreneurs what are their problems okay their opportunities we have studied then function everything we have studied now with that we have studied two chapters about this entrepreneur so it will be easy for you to learn the other two chapters okay it will be easy for you so then it is classified on different basis okay so first one it that based on the function okay based on function the entrepreneurs are classified into four okay on the basis of function first one the innovating entrepreneur the meaning we know innovating means that uh, introducing either new product okay or they may upgrade an existing product okay or they may uh, discover a new market or one new method of production they can introduce or they do any a uh, new that uh, transport or uh, delivering that method of delivering the product any improvements they can make they can innovate any new ideas okay in the process of production or uh, distribution anything they may innovate something that entrepreneurs are called innovating entrepreneurs okay then another one just opposite this one imitative entrepreneurs who are imitative entrepreneurs here they may uh, imitate the already that existing product in other countries or other state okay they imitate they may introduce they may introduce some methods that will suit for their uh, production and distribution okay so they may do some changes okay so they may do some changes for the already existing products that is called imitative entrepreneurs then next one fabian entrepreneur here they will never introduce innovate something they will never imitate but the fabian entrepreneurs will be uh, they will not do any changes to the product or existing product or nothing what the other entrepreneurs are doing they will do the same thing and they never uh, that to cope up with the changing environment of the world okay but at the last resort if they uh, they face a uh, acute uh, problem then they what they will do they may stick they may make some changes otherwise they will stick on their own policies their own product okay without any changes okay but at last if they find that they cannot survive in the market they may introduce some changes then the last one is drone entrepreneur here this drone entrepreneurs here they are also like fabian entrepreneurs here at least the fabian entrepreneurs will make some changes they will uh, that uh, they will uh, do that uh, uh, changes at uh, keep as a last resort that means at last if they don't have any other go they may make some changes but this drone entrepreneurs whatever happens for their uh, and their business they will never worry about anything they will stick on their own policies their own product they will never make any changes okay that is drawn on the basis of function of entrepreneurs okay according to function they are divided into four okay 
then second classification on the basis of type of business on the basis of type of business the first one is business entrepreneur we know what is business business entrepreneur these entrepreneurs are also called solo entrepreneur okay he himself will find out the idea to start a business and uh, he will establish okay that business by either it may be a small business or large business whatever it is and he will do everything okay sole proprietorship organization we can say okay here uh, either if he needs to produce the product he will do then what and all or uh, that uh, process in the production he will carry out then uh, to find out the market okay marketing activities also will be done by him any managerial aspect also will be done by the entrepreneur they are called business entrepreneurs okay then second classification trading entrepreneurs here we know the meaning trading means buying and selling isn't it so they never produce or nothing they will do they just buy and sell the finished goods okay they are the trading entrepreneurs so uh, by buying and selling they will get the profit isn't it so they they may do the marketing okay here they buy and they got to sell the product whatever profit they get they will enjoy okay they do only buying and selling of the finished products they never do manufacturing operation no okay only buying and selling activities will be done then the next one the industrial entrepreneur here the industrial entrepreneurs industry means we know isn't it they will manufacture the products okay or they will add some values to the product they may do either one or two process okay that converting the uh, the thread into textile okay any one uh, process they may do that is called industrial entrepreneurs here may be that uh, small scale industries we are studied is it either the industrial entrepreneurs they will do the businesses uh, may be the small industries or medium or large industries as per their wish they will do as per their uh, the financial capabilities they will do either small business small industry or medium industry or large industry okay but they will manufacture the products okay they are called the industrial entrepreneurs then another kind corporate entrepreneurs here that corporate entrepreneur is also called promoter okay this one in the joint stock company this corporate corporate itself is called company isn't it joint stock company is called corporate entrepreneur it is uh, that uh, entrepreneur will uh, that we can tell him as promoter he is the one who has to um, prepare all the the documents okay that memorandum of association or articles of association then regi registration with the uh, with the registrar of the companies okay so all the that to uh, that uh, fund fundraising okay either issue of uh, shares or debentures all these uh, that uh, activities will be done by the corporate entrepreneurs they are called the promoters related to the joint stock companies okay then agricultural entrepreneurs here we have in our uh, rural areas we will have isn't it this agricultural entrepreneurs they may do any form of that agricultural related uh, activities maybe poultry farm okay or that uh, maybe uh, meat they will cut meat and sell or fish or uh, doing uh, that is making honey and selling okay they are flower uh, uh, selling for people okay then fruits silk whatever it is they will uh, the, all these things are related to agriculture so these entrepreneurs are called agricultural entrepreneurs they make the farm products and they will sell them okay 
so they they may do either by themselves or through the cooperative stores okay because for agricultural activities only the cooperative societies are open isn't it so they may do either by themselves or through cooperative societies that this hand loom everything is there isn't it they are called agricultural entrepreneurs then retail entrepreneurs is uh, we know the wholesale entrepreneurs retail and here the retail entrepreneurs they will distribute the products to the consumers isn't it and they purchase from whom either from the wholesale entrepreneurs or from the manufacturers okay from them they will buy the things in large quantity and for small quantity they will sell to the consumers they are called retail entrepreneurs and they may deal with the different varieties of products not only one product that retailers provision shop we can say isn't it a grocery shop or a fancy store they will purchase many products and they will sell uh, for the ultimate consumers but they will purchase those goods either from the manufacturer or from the wholesalers okay all the products will be available at under one roof okay they are called retail entrepreneurs then service entrepreneurs all these related products but here they will do only service okay service to the consumers here we can say that already we have studied many that is what are the service they provide is needed maybe the that um, a banking or insurance okay then that the hotel okay large then crush they may run then this uh, repairing shops okay many things they can do advisor that uh, advisory organize consultancy service no consultant service consultancy they may provide all these are services okay all these service entrepreneurs those who do service but they do not sell product they are called the service entrepreneurs okay this is the classification on the basis of with the type of business then the third classification classification based on technology adopted what type of technology they have adopted okay on the basis of the technology adopted it is divided into three one technical entrepreneurs okay technical entrepreneurs they may uh, use some techniques okay here we can say that uh, that the repair shops or that mechanics okay then welder fitter uh, then molder okay then carpenter then those who do the gold smith okay then that uh, they have some technical knowledge okay tailors will come under here then that weavers also they know some they know they have learned one technique isn't it then that potters okay all these will be coming under this technical entrepreneurs they are they may convert they may convert the product into they may add some value to the products and they are making them ready to use okay they are technical entrepreneurs then non technical entrepreneurs non technical entrepreneurs here they do not have any technical technical uh, that competency to produce any goods or to add value to the goods but they may have some special talent okay sometimes these uh, goods can be marketed they may have the talent to sell the product okay that uh, that sales representative we can say they are also they themselves they will uh, sell the product okay Uh, maybe the transport people they may have some one talent to drive the vehicle and they will deliver the goods to the consumers okay they are non technical entrepreneurs then the third one professional entrepreneurs
professional entrepreneurs here uh, some they are professional entrepreneurs means they they do this as a profession entrepreneurship entrepreneurship means we have studied starting a new venture isn't it one establishing establishment they start so they have their that skill okay they do as a profession they will start a, a large venture and they will sell that venture to the people those who are interested okay and they wanted they don't want to keep the same uh, that uh, organization to continue to earn profit no they will um, start an enterprise and they will sell that one those who are those who are interested in buying okay then the next classification on the basis of motivation in terms of motivation somebody will motivate them or they may have their own motivation to start as a entrepreneur here we can say the first one pure entrepreneurs here pure entrepreneurs we can say uh, they are is pure entrepreneurs they do not want to uh, work as an employee in any organization but they they like to start a new venture and they have to earn more profit okay they do not want to uh, work as uh, an employee under any organization any manager and to earn as salary but they want to earn more profit to by starting a Uh, a new venture okay so the great uh, industrialist we can say they are the pure entrepreneurs we say ambani tata virla isn't it they are the pure entrepreneurs they do the on the entrepreneurship they do the establish the new venture by themselves and they start their own and they have all the facilities they are the pure entrepreneurs the next one induced entrepreneurs someone will induce them to be an entrepreneur who may be the government okay the government is providing many that we are going to learn in the next lesson okay so the government is giving many policies or subsidies and incentives that interest free loans in order to start small or medium or that organization okay industries business enterprises for that one some people they will be induced okay they may have a piece of land and uh, that uh, they are saying okay free um, loan will be given for 50 percentage subsidy then they have the talent to run an enterprise they will be so indirectly they are induced to to be an entrepreneur okay they are called induced entrepreneurs the third one motivated entrepreneurs this motivated entrepreneurs they are motivated to take up one venture by uh, maybe their motivation is to earn more profit okay so they uh, they start here we have studied now the professional entrepreneurs they will come under this one so they are motivated to start up a new venture and that will be sold for an art for other people those who are not ready to start up a venture because those people they do not want to take risk okay but these people they are ready to take risk because they are motivated they know how to uh, establish an organization after establishing and for running for a short period of time uh, the that uh, that business concern may earn more profit the same business unit will be sold for another person who is ready to purchase that they are motivated entrepreneurs okay then the last one spontaneous entrepreneur spontaneous entrepreneurs here the like pure entrepreneurs okay they they are spontaneously uh, they are ready to run an organization okay so they have all the skill they are very bold to start a venture and uh, they are thinking always uh, that uh, 
positive thinking they have they can uh, succeed in establishing an organization okay if there is any challenge or inconvenience they will face everything with bold okay and they will be very bold enough to face any challenges so they will come under this category spontaneous spontaneous entrepreneurs okay then the next classification on the basis of development stage development stage development stage first one first generation entrepreneur first generation entrepreneur this first generation entrepreneurs means they are the uh, people who start uh, they are they are becoming the entrepreneurs nobody is there in their family nobody will uh, will be working as entrepreneurs but these people will have their talent they will be uh, their knowledge they may have and the skill talent everything they may have so they can start an entrepreneur and their uh, family background and all nobody will be uh, there as entrepreneur but they themselves will start an uh, an organization and they will they are the first generation entrepreneurs okay then second variety modern entrepreneur here this modern entrepreneurs here they will be very particular about the uh, a product and everything they will be just keenly watching what is going on and uh, which business they can do successfully they will be checking and uh, once they have found out if they they invest some amount in some aspect they can earn profit they will implement immediately okay so they they are the modern entrepreneurs okay they uh, they themselves will find out everything and they will start an organization then the third one is classical entrepreneurs here the classical entrepreneurs they they never start business but already the venture has been started by their family members okay so they will continue the same that uh, organization okay they may have that ability and everything is coming from their generation okay their ancestors so for uh, that inherently that uh, no, that aspects are coming from their parents to them that uh, that business also what is done by their uh, parents or grandparents will be done by them they are the classical entrepreneurs okay then the next classification sixth one classification on the basis of area area wise it is urban entrepreneur that we know usually the entrepreneurs will start organization or industries only in the urban areas nobody will be ready to Uh, start in rural areas isn't it here because the, the availability of manpower and uh, the transportation facilities okay they are the urban entrepreneurs then rural entrepreneurs here the agricultural entrepreneurs and all will come under here isn't it here the labor force will be got for the uh, low cost isn't it manpower will be got but transportation facilities will not be there so they are the rural entrepreneurs okay then on the basis of ownership private okay private entrepreneurs they are the, the almost all the people isn't it if a person that they are the private entrepreneurs if an individual start an organization they are private entrepreneurs then another one state owned entrepreneurs state owned enterprise entrepreneurship that means the state the either the central government or state government will be starting any organization that is state owned then joint entrepreneurship both now that privatization we have studied you know 
so either both the government and the private can jointly do the entrepreneurship okay both individuals and government will join and do the uh, organize run the organization okay okay we have uh, completed that 24th lesson okay now the 25th lesson the next lesson after completing i will mark and give okay 25th lesson the government schemes for entrepreneurial development government schemes so now our indian government has taken many steps to encourage the entrepreneurship to to start uh, that uh, establishments in india due to we already we have studied in many chapters isn't it that uh, Uh, they are in there providing training and all they have started many things there women entrepreneurship we have studied many that is schemes okay then many association have been started okay that is what we are going to learn in this government's schemes for entrepreneurial development just uh, if they uh, develop the entrepreneurship only then our indian economy will be improved okay from the developing country we can uh, go to the and they can convert our economy into the that and uh, that uh, developed economy only through this by encouraging or developing the entrepreneurship okay so it has uh, done uh, it has started many other innovation they have they are promoting the entrepreneurship so what are the efforts our indian government is taking the first one it has start started one uh, that uh, scheme that is called start up india here they can start that entrepreneurship that means they can start ventures in india this is related to um, that uh, new scheme that we have studied no uh, Uh, new economic uh, policies what that in uh, the lpg liberalization privatization and uh, globalization that related to that one we are inviting many foreign investors to start uh, that uh, entrepreneurship or establishments in india okay it has been started in january 2016 okay so they can start ventures in india for that purpose they it has been introduced okay next one make in india this is also related to the first one this has been introduced in september 2014 this is this is what has been introduced to first okay make in india so we are inviting the foreign investors to to start ventures that means to produce to manufacture or to start industries or factories in india okay they provide uh, they provide many employment opportunities and they invest money in india and uh, um, that uh, directly and indirectly many people are employed isn't it even the the, the technological improvement has been come to india because of this make in india okay so then another one actual innovation mission aim actual innovation mission so here they uh, they they provide that innovative ideas okay innovation then entrepreneurship just to promote this innovation and entrepreneurship in india this mission has been started okay then another one step the short form is step this one we have studied already what is the full form support to training training and employment program employment program for women there only we have studied women entrepreneurship okay they provide that uh, they give full support how by providing training and employment program for women for this purpose in order to encourage the women entrepreneurs this scheme has been 
introduced. Okay. So they were providing training facilities, especially the, the women in rural areas. Okay, here this uh, one is established and it is under the ministry of, it is functioning under one ministry. Which ministry? Ministry of Skill Development. Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. And Entrepreneurship. Under one ministry it is managed. Okay, and another one, Niti Ayog. You might have heard, isn't it? Niti Ayog. That is called the Planning Commission. The new Planning Commission version is called the Niti Ayog. In news, you might have heard, isn't it? So, it is under the direct guidelines of Niti Ayog and this ministry, Skill Development Entrepreneurship. Okay. And it is helping the women entrepreneurs in the, those who are engaged in different field, maybe agriculture or horticulture. Okay, usually for the agricultural entrepreneurs, okay, rural entrepreneurs and women entrepreneurs. Okay, that is somewhat important uh, that scheme which was introduced by our Indian government in order to promote the women entrepreneurs providing training program because it is functioning under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and under the control of Niti Ayo. Then another one, Jan Dhan, you might have heard this one, Jan Dhan Aadhaar Mobile. The Aadhaar Mobile number must be attached. So, when we have to start um, uh, open a bank account in any bank for zero balance, there we have to give our Aadhaar card and mobile number, Aadhaar number and mobile number will be attached. Why this has been introduced, Jandan, uh, that is called short form jam. Okay, Jandan Aadhaar mobile. So, this one is uh, started in order to transfer the fund from the government to the people, those who are the beneficiaries. So, without any middleman. So, if the middleman comes, the, the money may not be given to them uh, fully. So, it, that middle uh, people will be taking, if it is given uh, 50,000, the last person will not get even. 5000 also. So, in order to avoid that middleman facilities, okay, direct uh, transfer of fund is uh, for that facility only, this Jantan Aadhaar mobile scheme has been started. Okay. For the entrepreneurs, the Digital India. Digital India, we have heard, isn't it? almost all the government organization government enterprises so any government service is done everything must be digitalized or electronically they have to do the thing you usually the railway ticket and all can be booked online isn't it that will come under digital india we, we do not need to go to the railway station and book for the ticket okay for that purpose the digital india scheme has been introduced next one Sorry, Stand Up India. In Stand Up India has been launched in the year 2015. Okay, here this is mainly for the women folk. Okay, and scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people. In order to encourage them, okay, this scheme has been introduced. Now the, they have been given that loan from rupees 10 lakhs to 1 crore rupees loan has been given for these people and they will uh, say that the women um, concession concession will be given for the women and the, the employment opportunities for the government enterprises will be reserved for women and uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people isn't it because they too have to improve their standard of life okay so their standard of living must also be improved for that purpose they have introduced this stand up india 
ओके देन द नेक्स्ट ऑर्गनजेशन नेक्स्ट स्कीम इज ट्रेड ट्रेड वन ट्रेड रिलेटेड ट्रेड रिलेटेड entrepreneurship assistance and development okay this is called a thread okay this one is trade related entrepreneurship assistance and development here this they will provide uh, this is trade related okay so it is related to non farm activities okay for farm activities for the agricultural activities it will not provide assistance but trade related entrepreneurship assistance and development just to encourage the women folk okay if they have engaged in the um, trade activities so they will provide Uh, that assistance financial assistance okay financial assistance or training assistance or whatever be the assistance will be given for the uh, especially for the women entrepreneurs in order to improve their trade okay then the next one is pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana Okay, here they will provide this. This is directly that Prime Minister. It's okay, Yojana. So it is giving some certificate. Okay, that uh, this is also uh, under the Ministry that is Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Here we have studied, you know, that on uh, that department. That this one also that under the Ministry of Skill Development and. skill development and entrepreneurship okay here they just want to increase the employment opportunities employment opportunities for women as well as for the whole people of the country okay the next one national skill development mission national skill development mission this has been introduced in july 2015 okay here uh, they are providing especially skill development in order to improve the skill of skill of the entrepreneurs they provide that way that um, they provide that uh, required skill if they do not have no how to improve their uh, entrepreneur that uh, organization or establishments they will provide national level skill development program okay for the already are the entrepreneurs then the 11th one science for equity empowerment and development it is called seed science for equity empowerment and development okay here they are providing that equity empowerment means they provide capital okay they we say also seed capital okay that means seed capital means the capital what is needed to start a business okay is they may provide that equity uh, empowerment they may provide some financial assistance okay or uh, what whatever be the uh, that assistance they will give including the equity assistance okay then some other schemes also available what are the other schemes okay many that uh, modified special incentive package new gen innovation okay so for around 5 given mostly they will ask here we got studied around 11 any five new schemes they may ask to encourage the entrepreneurs okay some you can uh, write either five okay five you here we got learned around 11 isn't it that if you read you will understand okay so study this 11 uh, around any five you 
study okay other than what is not asked for the one word one word one two mark three mark you can study and two more if you study it will be enough for you to write for the five mark question okay now we will learn the steps in promoting an entrepreneurial venture what are the steps there all these we have studied in the previous lesson okay so first they have to select the product in the yesterday's class we have learned they have to select the product is it with which product and uh, uh, whether they have to that new uh, the totally new products or they are adding some values to the product or one or two process they may do and make ready for sale okay that selection of product is very important then form of organization form of ownership okay whether it is a sole trader organization or partnership or joint stock company okay then what are the uh, that uh, resources that the financial resources needed okay if uh, partnership or uh, they if they need more financial assistance then they have to start the joint stock company form okay that they must decide then they have to select the site where okay whether the land will be provided by the government or they themselves or uh, subsidy is available okay all these will be decided okay the site will be decided whether it is urban entrepreneurship or rural areas they are going to start okay then whether it is near the market or near the uh, that availability of raw materials where they are they want to locate the under that uh, organization then they have to design the capital structure okay whether they will the source of finance okay the source of finance is their own savings or from the borrowings from their relatives or friends or from the financial institutions or banks or they have to raise uh, finance from the public that means by issuing shares and debentures okay that one then acquisition of manufacturing know-how how to get the you know, that technological assistance manufacturing know how means how to manufacture the product the tools and equipments have been imported uh, has to be imported from foreign countries okay or foreign collaboration is needed or they can buy from the local markets okay local means indian that uh, domestic market so all this will be discussed decided then they should prepare the project report yesterday everything we have learned isn't it so that's why i'm just explaining in one or two sentences here yeah, the project report must be prepared okay about uh, that uh, this one the project report some people are there to prepare okay maybe the technical consultancy organization or the auditor may prepare or the, that that uh, financial assistance will be given by some bank the bank may have some forms okay that uh, to they will see the project only then they will sanction the loan okay then here in the project report many conditions are there the technical feasibility okay technical feasibilities then that uh, from where they will get the raw materials okay then that uh, what are the what product they are going to produce that is called technical feasibility next one economic viability okay whether it is a local market or a domestic market or international market and uh, from their uh, their machines will be imported from foreign countries okay everything then financial viability financial what are the initial finance okay that means to purchase the fixed assets or the working capital requirements okay what is his expected uh, profit how much quantity he is going to produce how much will be the expected sales all this will be written in the financial viability then managerial competency who is going to manage the organization he himself or the partners or a manage managerial people may be the directors or the managers okay all this will be explained in the managerial competency then registration certificate okay 
then provisional registration certificate or permanent registration certificate before starting the organization they have to get the provisional certificate okay then if it is after starting the business they have to get the permanent registration certificate then license if they have to get okay the license from the municipality or if they need to that is sales tax they have to comply with isn't it they have to pay sales tax so for them also from that department okay central sales tax department they have to get the um, license they have to get the permission okay then power connection they need power without power they cannot run the organization isn't it so from the electricity board they have to get the we have to apply for that one and they have to arrange for getting electrical connection then finance arrangement for finance okay for that uh, working capital requirements then initial requirements uh, then from where they will get the, that seed capital okay the entrepreneurs got that initial capital that is called initial capital seed capital and the working capital requirements everything they have to decide in advance okay so all these they have to arrange only then they can start an entrepreneur their one organization okay that preparing the project report is the last one okay so we have completed this lesson and uh, we have to mark the question answers okay you because it is um, uh, clearly given only you read and uh, uh, write one or two points you yourself have to mark this uh, the, these two lessons okay it is very clearly heading by heading it is given so please mark the question answers okay students thank you very much